Yeah. Hey. Hey. It's a rap TV, man. From the DFW message. Y'all know who it is. Peace and blessings, man. It's your boy, Larry Luciano, a.k.a. the It's A Rap Cap. Welcome to It's A Rap TV, the number one support system for local artists and entrepreneurs, man. On our pilot episode today, we got a Texas legend, a Dallas icon, pulling up to the It's A Rap TV studios to give us an exclusive. We got the OG, Mr. Luigi, a.k.a. Lou Diamond, Mr. Diabolical, goddamn self, gonna be here in just a few to sit down with me. Larry Lou! Say, look, he been in the game for 20 plus years his first album was released in 2001 y'all then his most recent album was released 20 years later 2021 entitled diamond in the rough if you don't know about it you damn sure need to get hip to it he been on the gas since he been back home man and look it's an honor to have you pulling up to the goddamn it's a rap TV okay, studio. I'm gonna little tell you that right now. So look, we about to do before we sit down and start picking his brain. We're gonna tap into a little bit of his music and we're gonna jump right into it. Hey, you better be subscribed to the channel, the Instagram, the Facebook, the YouTube channel. Go subscribe, man. If you are artist, a local entrepreneur, local artist, whatever you do, send us your music. Email us, whatever you gotta do. Spam us. I don't give a fuck. I'm reaching out, I'm looking out for other people, but up. Uh, that's besides the point, but I'm about to get into this Mr. Lou shit. Time. Let me take another choke of the reefer smoke I gotta roll up another and another If a dime or a double, I'm a hover Like I'm floating in the bubble <laughs> Ain't no trouble with me rolling the beat. The only trouble is me holding the beat. Cause when I blaze the hate, I pour late all day with my niggas in K plus a dozen of sweets. And I'm still whipping triggers up, sitting in the kitchen, bro, trying to run hitches up. Fresh out of prison, you know I'm gonna live it up. Fuck what they talk about. Ain't no more talking out. Make them hoes walk with out. Then we gon' spark it out. Police gon' chalk them out. Then we gon' cross them out. Fuck what they talk about. I bring the boss out. Nigga, you know for not. What? Hey, look, it's hard to make a nigga feel shit that they ain't live. And if you coming where I'm coming from, you know just how it is. Everybody wanna take, but don't nobody wanna give. And when they only used to break it, now know just how to build. Everybody wanna rap, but they don't understand the skill. They don't understand the power in the words, and it's a gift. You don't understand your freedom till you lock behind that steel. And you cut off from the world, separated from your peers. Alright, peace and blessings, man. We in the yo. We at It's a Rap Studios, North Texas Media Group. We kicking with the OG, Mr. Lucci, Lou Diamond, a.k.a. Mr. Diabolical, his goddamn self, man. I appreciate you pulling up to the studio and vibing with us, OG. How you feeling today, man? Man, blessed, bro. Blessed. Actually, you know what I'm saying? I feel thankful for being invited, you know what I'm saying? So... I appreciate y'all having me on the platform. You know? Man, look, it's a, it's it's most most definitely an honor for you pulling up. It's most definitely the pre-launch, the relaunch. It's a rap TV. So for you pulling up, man, bracing us with your presence, bro. Trust me, it's 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 an honor, bro. So first thing I've always wanted to ask you as an artist, me being a young cat looking up to you, uh, you motivated me as an artist to start writing, right? I Not used really. to I used to hear back in high school, bro, that I sounded like you in high school, right? Because yeah. I used to rap fast and shit, right? But I've always wanted to ask you personally, how did you come up with Mr. Lucci as to be your rap name? What what inspired you to be Mr. Lucci? I didn't. My uh my rap name was Lil J, you know, cause my real name, my government, Jerron. So I used to go by Lil J. And my producer, Kevin A, he was like, man, you can't be Lil J. Cause there's a Lil J already out here. He was talking about big Lil J in Houston, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, shit, um, well, you know, blase this, blase that. I stuck with Lil J. And then uh, one day, K-Rock hit me, you know what I'm saying? K-Rock called me out the blue. I had met K-Rock. He called me out the blue because when I went to the studio, I met Pookie and uh, Kevin. That's how I joined the group. He wasn't around, so he called me out the blue like, nigga, man, uh, fuck this shit. They talking about a young little nigga from the ad into the group. Man, who is you? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm Lil J. I don't, I don't even know who this is. I'm like, Lil J. He was like, nigga, I'll keep mine. I'm like 15, 14, 15. He like, uh, man, uh, let me hear you rap. You know what I'm saying? So I rap a verse for him. He said, man, let me hear another one. I rap another verse. He said there, he said, yeah. Yeah, your name Lucci, bro. Your name Lucci. And hung up the phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that nigga started calling me Lucci from that point on. That's bro. crazy. 
man. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it stick with you, man. I think your whole style, bro, I think it's dope, man. So I want to ask you a question about your golden years, man. You know, right, when, you dropped, when you dropped Diabolical, the album, what year was it? It was 2001, right? Yeah, 2001. It was 2001. I know you had them hits like If I Have To Lift It, Slab. You had yeah. a whole bunch of shit on that. Yeah. Because I used to jam it all the time. Me and the homies used to jam you all the time, nigga, riding around the cliff and everything. How was it back then? Uh, I, I wanna, I guess about the, the the music era because now we in the social media era. So how how was it back then? Well, back then it was more. Um, I liked it because it was more intimate. You know what I mean? And what I mean by that is the same way you get them likes on like how they like your shit. See, they can't like your shit if they know social media. So they gotta come up and tell you, you know right. what I mean? So you constantly getting hand to hand, people approaching you this, this and that, because also in that era back then, if someone got, if you, if someone, only way somebody could see you is if you go to their city or if you shoot videos. But at that time, videos were like five and 10 and $15,000 back then. You know, that video was high, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you were shooting them on red cameras and stuff like that. Yeah. So, um, but if you go somewhere back then, bro, if you pull up in a Tyler or a Texas County or Arkansas and you say you, you know, blase this and where you from, man, you get so much extra love just because, nigga, you traveled to go do that. So it was like you had to travel to market yourself. So I like the era back then because it was more hands on it was more hands on like right now we can get in georgia and we ain't even gotta all we gotta do is press, press upload and we'll be in georgia now nah, you had to drive to georgia, you had to drive you know to what georgia. i'm saying 12 hours you had to know the name we used to have a map more than them big you know what i'm saying this wasn't no gps you know what i'm saying we used to have a big atlas map we used to rip out you know what i'm saying and have to follow them highways and roads <laughs> get where we was going i want to rewind a little bit so I know you linked up with, with Pookie around what you said 14, 15? Yep, fit right right at 15. All right, so at what age did you start rapping like? Solo? Right then. That was, so you had, that was your raw, like the very that, beginning. Well, 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 I was always freestyling, you know what I'm gotcha. saying? That's what everybody know me from back then, but funny as shit, I can't freestyle for shit right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> when I was younger, I, I was freestyle king, so, but I was also writing too, so from 11 to about 14, you know what I mean? I was just freestyling, but gotcha. from 14, that summer, four, like that summer, my mama got married. When I moved back to Dallas, I started writing, like yeah. actually sitting in my room and writing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shit, it just so happened that I end up when I was getting my hair cut. The dude who cut my hair was partners with Kevin A. Who on, you know, so when he cut my hair, he asked me to rap. My brother told him I could rap. I rapped to him, and then that's when they end up calling me on the phone to come meet. So. I was I was I was I was always doing it, but I didn't start taking it serious until like when I met them. Gotcha. Like, serious, serious. Gotcha. Uh, so with freestyling, would you say it's something that you will lose it if you don't use it, like practicing it every day type of thing? Well, it's not even just that. It's like if you usually talk to most freestylers, you listen to certain freestylers, and if you listen to a lot of their shit, you know what I'm saying? They usually repeat the same bars. You know, like mm -hmm. they used to. They they got certain punchlines that they know this bitch is hard, you know, and they might bring it out once every now and then, but they got repeated shit. If you listen to 10 times, you're going to be like, I kind of expect what they're going to come with. Gotcha. Now, when you start writing, you want to go your hardest, so you put your hardest bars in that first mm -hmm. verse. Now, after that, now you starting to look at this shit on paper, and it's like, damn, I can't, I can't have repetitive shit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I stop, you know, I, I start focusing more on writing. You know what I mean? Taking it, like I say, taking it more serious. And I could freestyle for a second, but once I really just start writing, right, you know what I mean? Nah, I, 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 I lost it. You know what I'm saying? But every now and then, I could stank one out. You know what I'm saying? Will you get a freestyle session going? <laughs> right now, not be then. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it just be the urge. It just be the feeling sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I don't write. I don't write or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I, I, I stopped writing in like 2004. You know what I'm saying? You said you stopped writing. Mm -hmm. So what you freestyle or write off the head? No, I write in the head. You okay, know what cool. I mean? Like it's just like I write it on paper, but I write it in the head. You know what I'm saying? And I just I sit like just say you play a beat, I sit right here and I just pop and I I just keep repeating myself, repeating myself until I got the end of the verse and I say let's record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you able to keep the cadence? You able to keep all that in mind? Yeah, actually that's the reason why I do it because uh, you actually lose cadence on the paper. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like you. 
the paper with me personally the paper boxes boxes you in sometimes <laughs> because you ever notice when you're trying to write well the lad or high rhymes and sometimes you might write a verse that rhymes offbeat you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying so it's it's not lining up when you write it on the paper you know and, and then like what i used to hate because I, I i lose a lot of shit you know what i'm saying i used to hate i used to write a whole lot of songs and shit and once i write them down i don't think about them no more almost like when you program a number, if I give you my number right now, I'm not gonna know yeah, you gonna right. once you log it in, you ain't gonna even think the about the number no more. Way. It's gonna be right. the name. So it's like that with the paper. And then I lose the paper and be like, "Fuck, man," you know what I'm saying? So, but also there's times where you keep the paper and you go back to it and you can't find the rhythm. Mm -hmm. It's like, damn, I, how was I hitting this? You know what I'm saying? So when I write it in my head, it's like it's like it's like water. You know, it ain't, it ain't no, it just flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It just like flow. So how do you how do you write? Like uh, me being an artist myself, uh, I feel like I write out for emotions. You get what I'm saying? I write out for vibes. I write out for the tempo of the beat. If if I hear a beat, man, and it don't and it it, it don't make me, it don't move me. I ain't yeah. about to write to it. I don't care how funky it sound. I don't care how to how dope it is. How do you write? Like, do you write your your hooks first? Do you you just go with the flow? Uh, first thing I do, bro, I hear a beat. And then I pray. And then I start writing. After I pray, everything start rolling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might not be no five minute pray, no four minute pray, you know what I'm saying? But I'd be like, man, Lord, let your purpose will be done, not mine, you know what I'm saying? Do what be you with want me. To be. So, 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 so. Yeah. And then I let go. And then I say, hey, turn it up. And I just walk back and forth. And then it's going to jump on me. If it don't jump on me, it ain't meant for me. You know what I'm saying? One thing I don't like doing is forcing shit. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I can force it. I can I'm force it. Let it flow. Yeah. Let it come to you. Let it come yeah. to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's how I write, bro. You know what I'm saying? But but I'm I'm like you, bro. Most of my if you listen to my music, most of it is uh is reality based. I'm talking about situation shit I'm actually going through. It's kinda hard. Like I don't know what's going on with me at this point, but it's certain shit that uh I can only write about. You know what I mean? Like you telling me like, hey man. This what you gotta write about, you know what I'm saying? I came like, you know, do some dumb shit, some dumb fun shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, I ain't letting you do it. This what you need to write about right now. So right now, I'm real. Right now, it's more of a message with what I'm writing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm writing with emotions and I'm writing with intent. You know what I'm saying? Right. Intent to educate, intention to provoke motherfuckers to start thinking, you know what I'm saying? There's certain beats that I pick that's just for, um, that make you think. Like the jam gonna be hard, but I pick certain beats that it'll make you stop listening to the song and zone out and start thinking about shit in your life that you need to fix or shit that you need to do to get this going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. You know, it's it's a certain way that I put shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Shit, being 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 a listener of your music, man. Uh, what's what's your favorite album? I know you got a few of them out. Uh, mm. uh, only a few of them that I could think of. Of course, your debut album, mm. Diabolical. You got what? Is it My Life? Yeah. Nah, I got Diabolical, My Life. I did uh, after My Life. I did uh, My Testimony. Then we did It's All On, it's all on Us. Then I did uh, 100% Real. 100% Real. Then I did uh, VVS. Then I did Deep Off in the Game. After I did Deep Off in the Game, I did Certified. And then I did One Time for the Road. And after one time for the road, I came home and I did Diamond in the Rough. So, you know what I'm saying? Out of those, it's different favorites because it was different parts of my life. You know what I mean? Like, I know I like um, I like one time for the road because um, it was my last album that I did before I went to jail. And when I was out on pre-trial that whole year, I could not write not nothing, bro. I was I was fucked up. I wanted I was just missing. I just wanted to be around my family and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't really write nothing. And then like when the lawyer called me and say, hey, uh, we go. You got to go turn yourself in on on uh, in two weeks. You know what I'm saying? On this date, it was like it was like 13 days. You know, we had to go to court. That's when I was gonna get because I didn't know how much time I was getting at this time. You know, I was gonna go to court. Uh, you know, I thought when I went in there and they sentenced me and gave me my time, I thought I, they was going to take me right then, but they actually, it was right before Christmas. They let me stay until after Christmas and turn myself in in January. But that album, when I got that call, I had 13 days, bro, 
and uh, I called Doski, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Doski G, and I'm like, bro, got it right. Shit, that nigga helped me find beats. I had my people find beats, and shit, I went and sat in the studio and did that album in like 10 days. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit, you know, I liked how it happened, you know what I mean? Like, it was meant, it just came out. And, um, but, like, you know, it was different times, so I don't really got a favorite, because I, everything I do, I put my all in, you know? You know, it's just different stages of my life, you know? I like Diamond in the Rough, because I came home and did a project with nothing, you know what I'm saying? I like that one. I'm loving the one I'm doing right now, you know? (laughs) The one I'm doing right now, I'm loving, you know what I'm saying? And that shit's gonna be something special, you know? I like VVS, because VVS was, uh, that's when I got my bag up. That's when I first started actually, you know, seeing some fucking paper, paper, paper. So, you know, I was, that's when I I was had the rollies and all the other shit, I was, you know, so I got like little flex on that one, you know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, it's just stages of my life, you know, each album, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's just like pictures, so I don't have a favorite when I love them all. So as as an artist, we develop, right? Yes. So, unreleased music. Mm-hmm. Do you have some unreleased music that you would play back now, like remake? I got a lot of... I'm sure you do. No, I got a lot of, a lot of the reason because I got a lot of unreleased music, because like, you know, we'll do probably about 30, 40, songs and exactly. and then you know only use 10 or 5 because as an artist you've been an artist our next song is always better than the other one and yeah. and that's a fuck up thing with artists too though you know we, we we hold music that we feel like oh we got better music now so we gonna shake that out but now that song was actually meant to come out because remember how you felt when you made it don't remember how you felt afterwards. Exactly. Meant how you felt in that moment. And mm-hmm. you know how you felt. That shit had you littered and lit. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Until you made the next song. And you made the next one and the next one and it kind of weakens it down. So don't don't hold music. If I can tell anybody, don't hold music. You know what I'm saying? So, But yeah, I got I got unreleased music. You know what I'm saying? I got unreleased music that I'm going to drop. I'm gonna, I got a lot of unreleased music I'm going to drop. I love that. Like, yeah. 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 But I'm going to have to tell them it's unreleased. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> shit is different time frames. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like, they were like, damn, all right, that sound wack in the bitch. Nah, it ain't wack. It's just you outdated. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I was saying. Like, would you go back and re record it to bring it up to time to use the lyrics? <laughs> yeah, I have did that, but 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 I had to change everything, though. I had to change production yeah. and yeah. all that type yeah. of shit. Tempo of it. Mm-hmm. I kept the concept, the concept, but switched the song. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I do that. That's what's up, man. So, look, we're going to take a quick break real quick before we do that, dog. I do want you to introduce us to one of your personal favorite videos from you that you have, bro. Hey, this video that I'm going to introduce to y'all, man, is uh, this the first video I did when I came home uh, from jail called Straight Truth. I directed it. Um, I had my friend uh, joke at Real Life Productions shoot it, you know what I mean? So, this was one of the... Nigga, this was my coming home party right here to me. You know what I'm saying? So y'all tune in. Straight True Video off of that Diamond and the Rough album. All right, let's get into this greatness with you right back. Yeah, yeah, huh, yeah. huh. Blue Diamond, nigga. Blue Diamond, nigga. What you think it was? What you think it was? Huh. Hey, look, niggas turn they back because they can't face you. That's a statement. And niggas only rat because they can't take it. That's the basis. And niggas only hate you because they ain't you. And everything you stand for, they can't do. Now, nigga, that's the straight truth. Now, everybody want to see you on until you make it. And then they praying for your downfall because they can't take it. In the end, only a handful of people that's going to stay true. They take it from it, homie. That's yeah. the straight truth. Uh, hey, yeah. look, I do it for my niggas in the feds and the state, too. I do it for the ones who kept it silent. How we Stay true, these niggas wanna see me boxed in, they want me to break loose But shit, I'm slapping shit up out the park, just like I'm Beirut These niggas walking around this hard war, like in Beirut These rappers coming with them candy bars, like a Beirut I hear these niggas talking in they songs, bro, it ain't true I watch you grow up from a kid, my nigga, and that ain't you But me, I'm on some 
real as shit I never fuck my nigga bitch I never steal my niggas licks Never hate on what my niggas get I wanna see my niggas ball Wanna see my people fed Damn, I really miss my dogs Never thought I'd see them dead Two niggas out here frowning on me That's why I keep that Tommy on me Never thought my own homie would go and pull a Donnie on me Niggas won't be satisfied until another body on me Bitch, I slide by my lonely No need to put a bounty on them What's up to my bounty homies? What's up to my niggas still Crippin' in that county, homie? Just know that Lou Diamond on it Everything you see me in Just know that Lou Diamond on it And everything I'm going to get It ain't just for Lou Diamond only I'm thinking about my children's future Why niggas thinking for the moment 340 in the morning If they ain't on it, they don't want it Bitch, I'm about to cash out Won't let my niggas crash out They tell them hoes Lou Diamond home It's time to take the crash out Hey, look, out. niggas turn they back Cause they can't face you That's a statement And niggas on their rack Cause they can't take it That's the basis and niggas only hate you cause they ain't you And everything you stand for they can't do Now nigga that's the straight truth We back from the video dog Like I wanna ask you when you came home man uh, One question I did have asked for you man Was there a change in how you had to hustle as an artist uh, From the time period you went in to the time period you came out Yeah Cause fucking right You know what I'm saying Everything changed though yeah. I was bullshitting Hmm. Keep on 100. The whole 20 years I've been doing this, 25 years I'm doing this right now. You know what I'm saying? But I was bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? The only reason I say that, and I'm saying it's to all artists, because there's so much shit you could be doing. You know what I mean? Like, bro, when I came home, I, uh, I worked. Nigga, I worked the whole nine to five. I worked from seven in the morning to six and five, six in the afternoon. Then leave there, go to the studio from seven to three in the morning. You know what I mean? And and, and keep the process going. And this is daily. You know what I mean? So it was like the grind started way different. I actually took time to get on my social media and respond to motherfuckers. I'm on the phone making calls. I'm setting this up. Fuck waiting on somebody to write treatments for me. I'm writing my own treatments. I'm doing. You know like. The grind elevated because what it was is I realized that nigga my 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 future is in my in my control. So it's only gonna go as far as I take it. You know, like when we was younger, you know, we uh I didn't work. You know what I mean? Cause I'm like, you know, I'm a full time rapper, so I'm gonna rap. You know what I mean? And then like me and my partners, we go hit the studio and we do all that shit. And we doing this daily. You know, coming in at three four in the morning every day, getting up doing it again. And I look back at it, what I doing what we was doing back then. All right, yeah, we might go to the studio for eight hours, but how many songs do we actually record? How long do we actually just sit there smoking, talking, bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Shooting the shit. It'd be some days we ain't recording no songs. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when that's just wasted time, we could have been doing some of days when we didn't even go to the studio. You know, niggas sitting at the house, you know? And, and, and just bullshit. And it's like, nigga, that, I, I could have had a job. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was hustling. You know what I'm saying? I, I just think about how much shit you can do in one day, you know what I mean? And it just pisses me off on how much time I was wasting back then. The body really don't need no sleep, you know? You know, you do need sleep, but you can go four, four, four hours of sleep, five hours of sleep and be great. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't need true. 12 hours of sleep around this bitch, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, I, so, so me as an artist, yeah, it changed. You know what I'm saying? Me as a man changed. So that changed me as an artist, you know what I'm talking about? Right. What was the biggest change that you've seen in yourself? Shit, I grew up. Hmm. You know what I mean? I, I I I start thinking before reacting. I start thinking with logic instead of emotion. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of shit to take on. You know, I uh, I couldn't. You know, number one, I want to survive. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to go back to jail. You know what I mean? I want to provide for my kids. You know what I mean? Right and I everything that was all those in order for me to. Um, achieve all those things I had to let go of a whole lot of things you know what I'm saying I me mean, not want no problems and no extra shit I had to forgive all these niggas that, 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 that turned their back and, and told on me you know what I'm saying and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't come out and just be like I'm gonna blast these niggas this this cause I, now I'm creating turmoil for me in the future I had to swallow that leave that alone I come home my, my, my wife you know is with you know someone else you know you know it's like and they living at the career with my boys. So it's like, okay, so it's like, you gonna be stupid and have a situation where you put yourself in danger again, as well as putting your children in danger because they at the house, you know what I'm saying? If yeah. anything happens or you're gonna be a man and accept shit that goes on and hey, you ain't gotta be uh goddamn me, um, 
super happy go lucky but you just gotta be respectful so that's what i had to do i had to learn to just be respectful you know what i'm saying and, and keep it moving it's just a a lot of shit in me as a man just had to grow up and change dog you know what i'm saying that's it dog and i don't tolerate no bullshit you know what i'm saying it ain't no useful bullshit uh i changed uh one thing i changed is um i don't like negative energy you know what i'm talking about so when people <laughs> call me, you know how you get phone calls and people just got like they be on that bullshit and it's exactly like it's, what it's crazy about. that every time they call it something so when you see their name something inside your body starts, starts to, to feel you know what i'm yeah. saying that's before you can pick up the phone you know what i'm saying so it's like all that shit, i cut that shit out you know what i'm saying i block a motherfucker quick you know what i mean and it's not out of disrespect or nothing but Access. It's yeah, it's access and also it's cutting off my distraction because the thing about it is, even like if it's a relationship or yeah, I love you, I really do. But if we having distractions daily that's keeping me from doing what I have to do and keeping you stressing from doing what you need to do, we we killing each other. So matter of fact, look, I'm gonna sac I'm I'm gonna sacrifice, I'm gonna take the lick and be the bad guy and we gonna split this, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to talk to me this, but I guarantee you you're gonna be in your shit six months from now when I see you because your focus done to right there, real quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, see what I'm saying? That's, yeah. It's real. So, so that's what I'm saying, man. So it's like I just I just Man, I just that that negative energy. It don't, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not good, bro. And I just um, I don't know. It ain't, bro. No, it's. I, I saw something earlier today, and it hit me. And it, it resonated. She said, "Your day is your life," and what that basically means, what you're just saying. If I waste today, and I waste tomorrow arguing with you, and then I waste the next day arguing yeah. with you, I look up six months. Damn, I've been arguing with you six months. I'm supposed to drop an album. Exactly. I'm What's what's been productive around here? But yeah. I'm arguing with you. So yeah, yeah that's on more on a life tip. But you have to have a, a balance with life to have great music. Well, you know, well honestly, honestly though, when it comes down to music, going back to your question as far as emotions, right? You can capture that. Don't let that be a waste of time. Cause you can capture that that feeling that you if you arguing with your spouse or whoever it is, yeah. you 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 now on the same capture that. Believe me, them it's the songs that, them the songs that people be like, dang. Yeah, but that song was made. <laughs> But that I ain't finna keep making them songs because our <laughs> shit. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? The song is made. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm capturing that moment, but I'm tired of these moments. You know what I'm saying? So uh uh. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Hey, that whole brand me a million. Thank you. Yeah. But goddamn, it ain't worth another million going through that. We finna flip this million and learn from that. You know, shit. That is the promise, yeah. Yeah, we gotta learn from it. Cause what they say, a person, what they say, uh, a person that keeps doing the same thing, expect different results, is a what well, that's insane. That's insanity, insanity, you know what I mean? And that's what it is, bro. If we knowing this, exactly. and you know, most of the relationship shits, it, it be bullshit. It don't even be no real fucking issues. Yeah. Why you ain't pick up the phone? Oh, you at the studio with that nigga? The engineer recording. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one song to keep popping up in my mind. Down, down in the studio, trying to make tracks, <laughs> and I got from all over my back. That song came from somebody on the phone while you trying to do your thing in the studio, and the female just calling, like, "Where you at? Where you? I'm in the zone. Like, you want somebody that's supportive." Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's only so much support you can get because you do. I mean, it's hard dating an artist. You know what I'm saying? It is hard dating an artist. You can't be insecure, you know? But that still, it boils back down to personal shit, man. You just gotta be, you gotta have that connection, man. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta have that connection and understanding. They gotta understand what you're trying to go. It's, it's, I think it's goals, lining out the goals and expectations. That's what I think is key. Having expect, expectation sessions, if not if not daily, uh, weekly, definitely. Like, yeah. what this is what we expect from the week. And then have your partner that's accountable. If they not if they not helping you reach that goal, and I clearly said that to you Sunday. Next, by next Sunday, I want to be here. But you argue with me Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. How am I get to that goal Sunday? Hey, you know what a dude told me when I was in jail. Uh, this is one of my counselors, uh, Mr. Hearn. He had told me. Uh, I be telling a lot of people this too. You just made me think. We said expectations. She told me what anger comes from is when reality and expectations don't meet you know what i'm saying that's where you upset because you expect some shit yeah, from somebody yeah like if you if, if you let me borrow 20 dollars right now in your mind without saying it you expect to even if you say don't pay me back you expect 
when you need to borrow twenty dollars for me to give it to you. Yeah. In reality, no. Once you let that twenty dollars go, that was it. You know what I'm saying? But your expectations of feeling that's why it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it'd be the, it, yeah. So yeah, no. That's why. Keep a low expectations. Is that the key to happiness? No, it's no, not. <laughs> no, I don't get understanding. Understanding. Oh, right. Shit, that, what you just said, that was yeah. understanding. So yeah. our expectations are the same because we explained it. You we had hope. understanding. You still, even at that, even yeah. at that, you still would hope. Yeah. You still would hope, but shit, life ain't perfect. So you've had plenty of women that. Hold and up, I, in hold the up, hold up. Hold <laughs> up. Hold <laughs> up. Hold 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 up. So what advice do you have for artists that's on that level? They're trying to create, but they also want to have that balanced of relationship. Hey, man. Even though we talked about it just being Look at this. If I go back, and I love all my experiences and shit like that, but as an artist, you're doing this artist shit, man, focus on your craft. I guarantee you, you focus on your craft and put a 100% into your craft for a year you gonna see a completely difference, you know what I'm saying? You don't have time to be arguing with such and such. You gotta treat it just like you got a nine to five. If you got this girl, if you was working for goddamn FedEx or Brinks or something like that, she can't come to work with you. She can't do this shit. It's just understanding you gotta work, you know what I'm saying? You have good. to treat this because this is your job if you expect to make paper out of it. Now, if you're bullshitting, go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. But if you're really trying to do this, let your house life be a house life and let your business life be a business and treat it like a job and respect it like a job. But if you're moving and you got a lady and shit like that, respect her wishes too. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be, uh, just respect her too. Be respectful of what you're doing. You know, yeah. if you expect it to work, if you're really exactly. trying to do it. If not, this ain't no spot for you to have no old lady. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you ain't trying to be serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to have that. That's where a headache and that's where the term will come from, man. Calm is a motherfucker. Believe me, I done felt it, seen it, you know what I'm saying? Call my motherfucker. Y'all know who it is, man. Coach Jim, it, 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 Mr. Everywhere the Gloves at slash King Mind Frame, Youth Non Mentoring Profit. Hey, check this out, man. We got the merchandise. 100% of the proceeds come back. To save a life, man. Support the brand and help us save us. We here and we know. Remember, we everywhere the gloves at. We bulletproof. We got an after school program. Uh, we 320 South Clark Road, City Hill, Texas. Come check us out. You can Google us at King Mind Frame. Uh, check out our reviews. And you can go on our YouTube page of uh, Lifestyle Fitness underscore uh, Productions. You can go on Instagram and check us at Lifestyle Fitness Productions with a Z. What was one of the big, biggest obstacles that you had to encounter as being an artist? And just strictly an artist. I mean, that's what I want to ask. Strictly an artist. Nothing personal. I mean, of course, that you you would make that your personal business. You know, and you love it. You got a passion for it. But oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Um, separate my feelings from business. That was my biggest obstacle. And it took yeah. me so long to realize. And I thought that I had, you know, it was years in the back. I thought that I did it, but I wasn't. I was still holding, you know what I'm saying? And, like, we're in the music business. We're in the music friendship. So it's, it's, I had to stop looking at shit like that. You know, like, I got a friend who a DJ. And just because he's a DJ, I can't expect him to play my shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he do got a mix. He do got this. I want him to. But actually, at the same time, this is a business because... If he don't keep his crowd hype, he don't keep a job. You know what I'm saying? Right. And put my song in there might jeopardize his career. And as a friend, are you a friend willing enough to make your other friend lose a job? Mm -hmm. Now, if I got something, we gonna work something. Right. And, I'll, and also know that everything ain't free. You know, don't expect people to do shit free for you. And 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 you don't, you know, don't you know what I mean? Like you can do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But go in there with the expectations. Like hey. Man, invest in yourself, bro. You know right. what I'm saying? And invest in myself, man. Be the obstacle, man. Take taking my feelings out of shit. Hmm. And trying to teach other people to take their feelings out of it. That's real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. My partner caught my Jesse, you know what I'm saying? He was one of them. He um out of emotions. Twenty something years ago. That nigga they weren't playing this shit on K one oh four. That nigga went up there. Uh, 
beat down the back, um, beat on the back door on the side door. You know, I used to have that little glass over there beating on the back on the side or whatever and waited for them to come out there. I think Skip and all them. And he finna, j he finna check them, you know what I'm saying? Whoop them, being this one they was in the house, like that little... Yeah, that little one in Grand yeah, Prairie, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Shit, man, you ain't heard Cottonmouth on that radio since. I ain't heard him. But that was off an emotional decision yeah. back then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Same thing with me with Kevin A. When I found out that nigga was fucking over me, bro, I said, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you up and left. Dumbest shit I could ever did. I could have went and got a lawyer. And what well, I did go get a lawyer, but I didn't have no money. But I could have went. You played chess. Played chess. Yeah, <laughs> went back like you know what, nigga. All right, this project's already out and done. Yeah. But I know you got a deal, so you have to provide these other albums. So look, this next album contract completely different, nigga. I need my back end such and such and write that shit and keep that shit. I should have went and did business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead, I went off emotion like fuck it, and I went and jumped in the deep end and. God damn me, damn near drowned. Damn mm -hmm. near drowned. Shit's different. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's a damn near cause you didn't drown. Damn you up, drowned, you still, bro. you still hustling. I seen the super grim the freestyle you did. You 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 um, murdered that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know you said you just let us know you in a you in the works on a new album, man. So me yeah. how do you compare your, your your past self to your future self? How do you do that on a lyrical level? Or do you feel like you was more lyrical then as a younger cat? Did you feel like you had more grit then? Or now as an older artist, as a veteran in the game, you know you more of a Texas icon and a Dallas legend around here, regardless if that's not how you feel. Yeah. It's, it's people and your peers around you that look at you like that. So how do you carry yourself? Uh, how do you choose? You know, how, how does that affect you mentally? Like, Man, like mentally, is it me? I mean, I... I, I uh... You know me, bro. Like I always tell you, I appreciate that, bro. But like I always, not man. You know I'm, I'm like us, bro. I just one just just still doing it. You know what I'm saying? So right. I don't take nothing from nobody else, cause it's a lot of niggas that made Dallas how it is and inspired a lot of different artists, not just me. You know what I'm saying? So, um, as far as the lyrical part, man. See the thing about it, I feel like now, shit, I'm more better than I ever been lyric. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because shit mean a lot more the words mean more you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. the words mean more same words but they mean more now you know what i'm saying back then i was just rapping i was doing a lot of dumb shit and i was rapping i was doing you know what i'm saying i was look at this i was motivating but i was bringing down you know what i'm saying and what I mean by that, I was I was doing a lot of dumb shit, so I was rapping about a lot of dumb shit, and it was it was good music, but at the same time, it was a bad message. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. I mean, it felt good, but it was a bad message, you know. And it inspired, you know, it did what it was supposed to do. It inspired a lot of good in artists, but it also inspired a lot of rappers. Inspired a lot of bad shit. You know what I mean? Niggas I go on the road with niggas like say hey, nigga, we used to go. I mean, niggas I ain't never met. They they come to the concert, nigga, we used to kick those your shit, nigga. Every motherfucking night, nigga. We put that shit on, get loaded, and then we go kick those on your shit, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I wasn't really doing that for nigga. I was talking about what I was doing, but I ain't really wanna make niggas go kick those and certain niggas you know, it's motherfuckers who say they ain't never smoked before until they heard our song and that made them wanna try it. You know what I'm saying? So it like <laughs> The nigga was doing uh, inspiring, but the nigga was also bringing down in a way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I feel like the music, um, it's inspiring, but it's motivating. You know what I'm saying? Like the message that I got now, bro, is it's more, it's more wake up. You know what I'm saying? Wake up music around this motherfucker. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Have you heard another artist admit that, what you just said? Like, Have I heard another artist? Yeah, say like, oh, because I know like Future, I think he said, uh, drop a mixtape, the murder rate increase or something like that. Yeah. In one of his songs, like, I don't know how long, long ago that was, yeah. but I just want to say thank you for awareness. That's like, that's like, I'm going to drop this shit, bitch. Two chicks. Yeah. yeah. Blue Diamond, nigga. What they think this is, man. Tell you niggas I come home, man. Thank you, niggas. Keep me going, fell, my nigga. This is my city, nigga. I am Dallas, nigga. I know my niggas. 
niggas ain't talking like that. I know my niggas ain't ratting like that. I know my bitch and I acting like that. I'm through the hood, flat backing like that. Nigga, fresh out that rat, nigga, straight to a set. Nigga, fuck a relax, I turn up to the max. Fuck by the perk. How I go find some whack and turn that bitch in now, Iraq. No, the fuck where you at? I don't just murder on wax. I rip the D to the murder, that's facts. Why niggas learn how to act? I was learning to react and turn up on a pack. I was getting in all the half, I was on a slab, nigga. Hold up, hey, I was on the air, posted with the slab, serving out the slab, nigga. Pull up in the van, open up. Back with the greatness right here, okay? That. <laughs> All right, so earlier you brought up, you said the word insecurities, right? Mm hmm. What advice do you have for insecure artists? They dope as I don't know what, but they, the world doesn't know them. Insecure artists. So look. Honestly, you have to find the courage in yourself to be able to make that music. You're writing it, and you want to do it for a reason. So if you're writing it, and you're feeling in your spirit, it's meant for you to do. You need to take a leap of faith and come up out that shell and just try it. Just try it and see the effect that it brings. You know what I mean? Keep doing it the way you're doing it, but try it. Try it different, man. Step it out, you know, because honestly, you're not going to be able to know. I won't take that because I never tell you what you won't be able to do, but it's going to be extra harder for you as an insecure artist inside of here, and especially with the social media. They'll tear you apart. They'll tear you apart. Whether you're insecure being on stage or your body, whatever, you got to have some confidence in yourself find it in you, you know what I mean? Because it's in you, you gotta find it in you because it's gonna be very hard you uh, out here trying to make music unless you're just gonna sit back and be a ghostwriter, you know? Something like that where you don't never have to be seen, which is also good yeah. too, to actually make more money than artists, you know? So you gotta uh, look at it like that. But if you actually wanna be on front of the camera and inside of this industry, you gotta, you gotta step out, you gotta open your mouth and you gotta get some confidence. And, and what's your biggest music business advice? Reading the contracts yourself? Uh, I'm just throwing out some stuff, but like, like, what's your... Everything. And be a part. Just, just, just do this. My business is find out everything you can. Research everything about what you got going on from whatever you got going. And then find somebody smarter than you to show you how to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? And pay. Invest in it. Invest in that. So have you cracked the code on... Um making money from your music nah i make money out it's crazy like i make money off of like my streams and shit you know what i'm saying i make money off of that you know but it ain't what i make in the streets yeah my cracking code is um being active yeah being active you get money you get more money being out than you do being in you know yeah, what i'm yeah, saying yeah. Gotcha. so my cracking code on making bread is staying in their face you yeah. know what i'm saying staying in the face staying in these different events bumping these niggas damn brian oh, how much for a feature come on with it you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying working with people you know what i'm saying as well as the way i make money as well too though is investing in other artists it doesn't come back like how can i say it uh monetary but it comes back you know what i'm saying like investing inside like um like just different artists, you know, um, doing songs with them for free or helping them with a video or connecting them with some stuff like this, you know, yeah. coming out of my pocket on some things like that. Like it helps because it, it, it boosts them to be able to do some shit, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes shit it boosts them and they'll shoot something back to me. Like I do some shit with one artist one time, you know, and did some shit with him and did this, this and four months later that nigga just shoot my cash out some paper and I never, never even asked him for nothing, you know what I'm exactly. saying? But it's like... It comes back in other ways. So, but but as far as cracking that code, um, them them what's the names though? Um, like uh, you, you you get your you get your streaming, get your get all your streaming shit right, and uh your your your, your sound uh sound exchange and all those little shits, yeah, I, I, all that, cause it actually is money in there. But do you work that though? 
Do I work it? Yeah. Yeah, I work it. You know what I'm saying? So you're doing but, both. You're the, the artist and the businessman behind it. No, nah, but I work what I can work. Like I say, hire someone else yeah, yeah. to do it. Because, mm -hmm. see, the stuff that I do, I hire people. You gotcha. know what I mean? But Save I still got to... Yeah, but you still got to backtrack they work. You got to... You know what I'm Promise. saying? You got to you gotta work it with them and see, make sure, okay, this shit is registered. All right, who who's the the authorizer on it, though? You know what I'm saying? And who... who you know what I mean? Like... You know what I mean? Because oh, Netflix yeah. will register your shit, but your checks will be going to them. I ain't never seen that address. You know what I mean? So I'm just being honest. That's how that, how that shit be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What up, son? <laughs> In a minute. But yeah, that's the one with little soldiers with me. You know what I'm saying? My little kings. Okay, and I'm going to ask this question, and I'm going to pass it back to you. Uh, advice for female rappers in a male-dominated industry. Keep your legs closed. And I'm going to tell you why. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not being funny or nothing. You can get somewhere by doing like you're doing, but you have to do a lot of it. When you can get just as far by teasing if you want to. And just keep on the... Because, like, this one thing about it. Everybody... I don't know, man. Just keep keep, keep it business. No, nah, I'm just saying. No, nah, I'm just saying. Keep it business. I can't tell you how you do your thing. Right. But a female artist, you're really trying to make it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to respect you more when you stand on yourself more. You know what I'm saying? When you stand on what you is and, you, and you're talented and you're not falling for none of that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Then they they gonna they gonna dig in on you. Some people, a lot of people gonna pass you up, but who meant to help you is gonna show up and help you. But you just gotta stay patient. You know what I'm saying? And and can't no you can't nobody change your life change your life overnight. Don't believe that shit. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know motherfuckers sell dreams. Nah, man, they can't change your life overnight. You know what I'm saying? So if you could give all local artists, independent artists entrepreneurs some advice on how to stay afloat or how to stay relevant because you regardless of the time you've been in the time you've been out you've managed to learn how to stay relevant in the old generation age and now what advice would you give them on 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 being an artist what, what would you tell them to do shit study it study a craft you know what I mean? Be aware of the trend, but don't fall into it. You know what I'm saying? Don't fall victim to it. Be aware of what's hot. You know what I'm saying? But do it your own way. You know what I mean? And stay consistent. Consistently drop music. You know what I mean? And be original. Be unique. As, as much as unique as you can. You know? I mean, like, right now, just by you not 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 rapping with auto tune, you unique. Right. Your voice is automatically gonna stand out. You know, you hear a lot of songs right now, bro. And if a person don't know who these people are, they all sound alike. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't know, identify their voice. I heard a song not too long. I was at the studio. I listened to some Leon Cats. It was six niggas on the song, and I didn't know who who was who because <laughs> the same, it, it the same. all. Uh, the same auto tune, dun, 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 dun. Then, you know, how, you know, it was the same rhythm, same cadence, everything. So it was like, you know, you know how that shit be. Yeah. Be original, you know what be I'm original. saying? And, and and stand on what you stand on. Stand on what you stand on. Whatever, whatever, whatever you is, you know what I'm saying? As an artist, you know what I mean. Stand on, don't don't change your craft because of what somebody else going on. Stand on what you stand on, and learn, research. That's how you gonna stay afloat. Research. You know what I'm saying? What's some of your daily habits? Morning routine. Tell us your morning routine. Morning routine. Take my little man's to school. Drink some coffee. Work out. Shit. Then in the streets. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Do you meditate? While I'm driving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. You found, do you find that meditating helps you... Uh, with just being in balance and more in tune with, nah, even especially with music too, music related. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, really, what meditating do it give me different topics to talk about. But you know, when I meditate, you know, um, like niggas ain't riding with me in my car because I don't listen to music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You ain't Dang. listening to shit in my car. I listen to <laughs> instrumental. You know what I'm saying? Just being on it with my kids and shit. Up. And I don't care if it's a goddamn 19 hour road trip. Yeah. It's just how I am because yeah. this is when I focus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um. 
it, it brings me when I ride and I think like that. It brings everything to me. It brings it brings me new concepts. It brings me uh, uh, new concepts on music, uh, different rhythms. You know what I'm saying? Different topics to talk about. You know what I'm talking about? Then it also brings me my other ideas on um, like with my movie that we doing and the scripts and uh, other ventures that that you know it just, it's crazy. It's just like that's my time. That's me and his time. You know what I'm saying? Like you know like. We talk, you know what I mean? Like we we talk, you know what I'm saying? So I I ride and I just I just all day, all day, you know what I'm saying? And what I do, like motherfuckers, be, bro, they be tripping because like say we right here, see my son got my phone right now, but like nigga, I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a on I'm a on I'm a on site dude, you know what I'm saying? Like idea come to my head right now. Nah, don't wait till tomorrow. Call if I got idea, call him right now. Call him right now. If we talking about something like, hey, what about sons up? Call him right now. You know what I'm saying? Because that little second waiting will change everything. You know what I'm saying? So shit. Yeah, I meditate. Meditate change everything for me. Yeah. That five yeah. second rule. Everything. Get up and go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's definitely been a pleasure. Everything you just said was like, I could tell it was just real. You know, you just came straight from your heart. So yeah. 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 Already, I don't know no other way really. No That's why you way. are where you are though. Yeah, nah, I think, I, I, I think, I think, I think, I thank the people for keeping me there, you know what I'm saying? I thank the people for keeping me there, you know what I'm saying? I do, I do, I do, I do say that, my city, uh, my city, I mean, it's, I got a lot of fans everywhere else too, you know, but my city, bro, like, man, they show me love, like, 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 shit, I, That's I okay. appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, for real, I don't ever get no bullshit, you know what I'm saying? And, as, and, and even with all the bullshit that goes inside on, you know, right now, where we, you know, turmoil that we have in the city is we it's getting better but you know even with the things that go on you know like they don't involve me in that you know yeah. what i'm saying and i don't i don't condone it bro you know what i'm saying i love every artist in the city dog every artist north east west cliff you know what i'm saying yeah. all of them so it sounds like you're the glue shit you know i can't say i'm the glue but i know uh i know i sacrifice myself for my city you you don't have to say it Cause the people go like, like you said, the action. Like you can yeah. go, you can deal with all these different artists, and they like loot you cool. So you can be like the catalyst between the, the, the. when the time is right, though. When it, that's what you, you just hit it on the head. Yeah. When it's time to write, it's right, and I hope it's around the corner because, um, dude, I, I see this so so powerful you know and like i was i did an interview with big d mogul you know mogul state of mind and like i was telling him bro like with the city like they asked me do we ever think it'd be a time where everybody would come together and shit like that and i'm like what people need to understand is if we do they was like i was like we nigga the city can come together and make something so big and powerful and everybody don't have to like each other you know what i mean right. for example you go to these multi-million billion dollar companies these gpos and all the other type of cities them vps don't like the secretary and the uh the, the cfo don't like the this dude you know what i'm saying but they coming in there working okay. and they making billions of dollars you know what i'm saying they're not calling each other when they leave the office but they working because this one has something to contribute. He has something. Everybody has something that they can contribute that, th that no one else can in the city, each person. And in order for the puzzle to go together, everybody has to put what they can contribute in. And it'll be unstoppable, bro. It'll be, it will be a Hollywood. It'll be a Atlanta. You know what I mean? Because you got to keep in mind, everybody come here anyway, bro. Mm -hmm. They come here for their vacation and to pick up their bag. You mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about? Top five market. Come on. Now, what if we had control of this motherfucker like they got control of New York in New York. New York control New York. You know what I'm saying? They let in what they want to let in. We got the power to do that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna care about the radio. Yeah. Let the labels run the radio. Right. But from the streets, the clubs, the yeah. venues, the ones that still sell records, you know, shit like that, the YouTube's video now, we can make it to where when you put them analytics up, nigga, everything in Dallas pops on Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying nothing like bad, but I'm like, no. I guarantee you, you throw a, a a a Kodak show. And I love Kodak. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait till he come. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it, it, it's like, you throw a Kodak show in Dallas. The city was on the right page and everybody fucking with each other. The Dallas could throw a show at the same time and Kodak should have be empty. Yeah. If the city was with the city, oh, like yeah. talking about it. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying for real, bro. Because yeah. it's like, nigga, it's on a support thing. It ain't even about, 
nigga, my people and them going, I'm supporting yeah. my people. His people going, you know, it, it's the city, like it's a statement thing. And you can do that constantly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the music, fam, you you know, bro, you you got great music. The city has great music. It's Appreciate just it, not bro. all being absorbed. You know what I mean? It's not all it, it, and the reason is cause it's not a it's not a, a platform where man, like I gotta say, man, anyways, man. People I look at I feel like my, my intake on the city is people got their favorites. And Everybody look at each other as competition instead of pulling together and locking up and building this big ass transformer of dollars. You get what I'm saying? Don't nobody wanna don't nobody wanna link up and build a transformer. Everybody wanna be the head man. See, I don't mind being the sixth man coming off the bench. You feel me? I don't mind that position. You gotta yeah. know your position. So, uh I've learned a lot from a lot of these artists. They was a big inspiration on uh on it's a rap TV. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Locally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just internationally, period. Independent artists, because I feel like we got more grit than the international artists and the mainstream artists right now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, because we talk about, we we still trying to get it. So our lyrics are still hardcore. They still coming from a place, vice versa, to a man that's been sitting on a million for a few. Yeah, years. still hungry. You, you you ain't hungry no more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You 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 didn't ate. You didn't ate a few times today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that that's how I look at it. You know, like people got they 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 most definitely got their favorites, but at the same time, it's also about your grind. That's where it's at, dog. With that grind too, though, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because this one thing, the artists, um, and I talk to artists all the time, and I say it with myself too, man. A lot of people say the city don't support each other, okay? That's right. one thing. That's it's really the biggest thing we get a lot of yeah, artists like to say. Yeah. City don't support yeah. the city don't support each other. Crabs in the bucket. All right. This is the thing about music and anything else. You know what I'm saying? You cannot force nobody to like your music. At all. It's impossible. Yeah, you can't support. force them. You know what I'm saying? You can't even pick what song is actually the song that's supposed to be the single. The people gonna pick it. Can I get next to it ain't no need to, baby, you know I need you Hold you and squeeze you, eternally please you Giving you nothing but 100% of all my life The only woman I feel confident to call my wife Say all that underground pimp and I left that game alone Hey, I'm just thankful and grateful that you still hanging on Say, Joel, just tell my gal how I really feel By the smile and whoop of coming you know what i mean and yeah y'all gonna be included too trust me i, I really want y'all to be involved i got the series coming uh we got the club pumping um on thursdays and saturdays the dive if you're an artist you know you can come perform and stuff like that we rocking out and we got the uh saturday nights with papa run uh i got the rock star um i actually was meant to bring some for y'all but i uh i got the rock star liquor i got the uh the bourbon and the um the gin it's a Dallas-based liquor, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we got that going on. It's uh, made actually right around, well, right here on um, 35 in Mockingbird, you know what I'm okay. saying? So uh, it's a distillery. I'm going to uh, do a tasting, uh, like let everybody come do a tasting. I'm going to invite y'all. It's going to be a private setting, but I'll invite y'all to see where it's at, you know what I mean? Oh, then also, too, uh, just got a new show that uh, me and my homegirl, Miss Vegas, uh, we starting up, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was talking to you about earlier. I want to get you on, you know what I'm saying? But, um... Mm -hmm. It's a, it's gonna be uh it's called straight out the gym you know what I'm saying and it's gonna be straight, a, out, the gym. straight out the gym you okay. know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and um we have a, a a gym you know what I mean it's yeah. gonna be like a it's pretty much gonna be kind of like the basement you know what I'm saying old school basement type vibe where artists get to come perform their stuff right there you know what I'm saying but it's yeah. gonna be uh it, it's it's gonna it's gonna be live you know the what I'm saying. Vibes. Huh? Big tickle vibe. Big tickle. Nah, yeah. nah, nah. We gonna do some. Uh, <laughs> we, gonna do some <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna do some some Lou Diamond vibes. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit, we finna do some whole other vibes, bro. And it's not just for the city though. We gonna have artists everywhere, you know. But it's gonna be another platform for artists to have the uh, be. You know, you, you got a new song you wanna drop, or you got a song that you done did that you want a video too that you ain't got to do a video too. But shit, you come perform this bitch. On the thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, that's your visual, you know that's what I'm talking about? Yeah. So, you know, we tapping in with our artists and we gonna be doing that, man. Me and Miss Vegas, you know, so um it's a lot of other things popping, but right now, those are the ones on the plate that I want y'all to know about. That, you know what I'm saying? You and be on the lookout. Thing. Yeah, those are the ones I want y'all to see. Man, most definitely appreciate that, dog. We gonna most definitely pull up, we're gonna show out whenever you hit us up. 
I know I'm coming. I don't know about you. Because I know who she is now. Yeah, she man. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, she coming, man. Yeah, so, man. So that's what it is. That's the gang, man. You know, that's how we do. But you I know, might have to come do a Tum Tum re- uh, old Dallas <laughs> remix <laughs> round. Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah, she ready for that. <laughs> See, trying for to real. tell you. I was in the car wash. I said, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, man. But look, dog, we're going to go ahead and wrap up, Mr. Lucha, man. We appreciate you coming through the studio and vibing with us, man. Look, I know your son ready to go. He yeah. peeking through the door. That's Big Daddy JoJo. That's my yeah. business, dog, man. He, yeah. he, he stay with me. He, it's okay. Yeah, like, it's all right. Yeah. He, he be with me, man. Hey, he be with me. He be riding. It's, it's crazy. Peek this. This is my 12 year old. He be riding with me, right? Uh. He be riding with me. And, and, and I be having, like I told you, I don't be listening to music, so I'll be on my phone doing right. this and this and this. And I get off the phone, when I get off the meeting, and they be sitting with me and say, so daddy, such and such, this, this, this. So is he going to charge this, 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 if he do this? And be like, it'll be the same shit that I be thinking. Because, you know, when I talk on the phone with people, I don't say everything. You know, I let them say what they going to say. Exactly. Blah, 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 blah. And I get yeah. off and I analyze everything they said. And yeah. he doing it. While I'm sitting here driving, I'm thinking like this. He like, so uh, do he think you going to, uh, uh? like, shit, you sure right. <laughs> no, I love it because you like you said that time because imagine you had music playing and you can't even like your mind is not on that. Yeah, you don't leave your, your time. Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, yeah, you, you calculate, you playing chess. Yep, but nah, that's it, man. I just want to thank uh, it's a rap TV man for letting me come out here, man. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all go follow me too on uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, Mr. Lucci Dallas, man. It's up, you know what I mean. Luchi be farming up the block on slam Breaking bitches off and it don't stop No doubt Beating up your spot and leaving it hot on slow Nigga, how the hell you feel with pimpin' hoes and tight clothes Mr. Luchi be farming up the block on slam Breaking bitches off and it don't stop No doubt Beating up your spot and leaving it hot on slow how the hell you feel with pimpin' house and tight clothes? Well, I'm thinking about bigger things. Wood, bigger chain, dog.